Hi everybody, this is the Green Fog here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing a little bit of a new game called Boons TD6, or Boons Tower Defense 6. So, this is not going to be a full-fledged playthrough of this game. As you can see in the top left corner of my screen, I'm up to level 30, so I've played some of this game, but not too much. I'm not going to be playing through everything, I'm just going to upload various episodes of me playing this game, playing different maps on different difficulties and different modes. Not sure exactly how many videos of Boons, Boons TD6 I'm going to be making, but we'll have to wait and see for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click play. I think I'm going to play the town center on easy and standard. Yes, I do want to replace my existing save because, fun fact, this is my fourth try recording this part of the video. So I'm just going to check a setting here. Okay, so we will be all set. So if you have never played a Boons Tower Defense game before, then the goal of the game is to defeat the balloons using the monkeys that you can buy and place on the map. So, as you can see with these green arrows in the bottom left corner of the screen, this is where the balloons come on the map, and then the red arrows in the right side of the screen is where the balloons exit the map. Now, all these monkeys on the very right that I can scroll through, these are monkeys that I can buy and place on the map using money that I earn by popping the balloons. I'm going to start with $650. And these are also monkeys that are upgradable, so I can pay more money to upgrade them in three different upgrade paths. And the goal of the game is to defeat all the balloons using the monkeys I can place on the various maps, difficulties, and modes. Now, I'm playing on easy mode today, so I'm going to be trying to beat the first 40 rounds of this game. So, a new feature in Boons TD6 um, if you would like to call it a feature because it actually makes it more difficult to win is this line of sight thing So if I pull out a sniper if you've ever played any sort of uh, if you've ever played Boons TD5 You know that snipers by default can see the entire map and uh, Attack boons on the entire map But if you look at those red lines uh, that are on the map those red regions You can see that those are actually areas that the sniper cannot pop boons because he cannot see past the buildings or past those little cardboard boxes next to the building on the bottom right and he also can't see past the windmill meaning that it's going to be a little tougher when using these long range monkeys to win because some of their range is actually um, unusable for them because they can't see past some of the taller objects so I'm going to be um, placing a ninja monkey here um, so I'm just going to start with it over here I think I don't have enough monk. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy ninja discipline or distraction. I do have enough for seeking seeking shuriken, but I don't think I'm going to buy that yet because I think I'm just going to wait a little bit until I um, get some more money because I would like to buy um, ninja discipline or distraction. I think I'll start with ninja discipline because I want to do the uh, first two upgrade paths. So another thing, new thing on Boons TV6 is that now instead of Boons TD5's two upgrade paths, we actually have three upgrade paths. So I've played a lot of Boons TD5 and a Boons TD4 and Boons TD Battles as well. In fact, I think I have a couple of Boons TD Battles videos on my YouTube channel. So something that's different is that now there's an extra upgrade path from Boons TD5. So as soon as you buy upgrades from two of the three upgrade paths, the third upgrade path becomes locked and you're not allowed to buy any upgrades from that. Um, and then as soon as you buy a third tier upgrade, such as Double Shot here, um, you won't be able to buy any other third tier upgrades or higher, um, except in that path. And then also another new addition is that there's actually five tiers now, instead of just four, like in Boons TD5. So each monkey used to have eight upgrades, now they have 15 upgrades. A uh, huge increase. So I definitely like to get counter espionage. That's a uh, new upgrade from Boon CD6, and I really like it because it's not very expensive, and it actually removes the camo status from all balloons that the ninja shurikens touch. Because some balloons in this game can be camo, meaning that only certain monkeys and monkeys with certain upgrades can see them. Ninja monkeys can see them without having any upgrades, but counter espionage allows them to actually remove the ca camo status from balloons that get hit by their shurikens so that towers that can't by default can't normally see camo balloons then can see those balloons because they actually stop being camo. So 
So that's definitely a very helpful upgrade to have. I'd like to see if I can get enough money for double shot. Yes, I can. That's good. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place another ninja monkey. This one, I'm going to go for the third upgrade path, the one on the bottom. Because um, that one allows me to have flash bomb. Which is an upgrade that will allow him to pop lead balloons and also stun a lot of balloons. So, lead is another special balloon type. Um, and that's a type that, again, only certain monkeys can pop it. Because, like, the ninja's normal shurikens, they're metal. They can't pop the lead. So, I'm going to need to get flash bomb because the explosions will pop the lead. So, I'm going to go for seeking shuriken. And then I'm going to get cow chops in a second. Cow chops, um, let's see what cow chops does. It's going to throw out spike cow chops onto the track nearby. And then, yes, I'm going to need to get $2,300 to get flash bomb. So that's going to be uh, quite a lot of money, but I think it's okay. I think I think my uh, two ninjas should be able to hold it out long enough to get flash bomb. And if not, then I'll get another monkey in the meantime. Um, trying to think of what I'm going to get, because uh, normally I would get a sniper. But this time, I'm deciding, I don't really think I need a sniper as long as I have my flash bomb ninja. So, I think I might get some uh, bomb towers afterward with the Moab Mauler upgrade. Um, Moabs or MOABs, that's another one of the uh, special types of balloons in Bloons TD6. So, they're basically blimps that require a huge amount of popping power to pop. But the Moab Mauler upgrade on... The bomb towers actually allows them to deal a lot of extra damage to um, Moab class balloons, meaning any balloon. Oh, seems like we're gonna one life in that guy. Any balloon of the Moab type, meaning Moabs or BFBs or ZOMGs. I think it might include those. I think it also might include those new blimps that are included in um, this game, but I haven't seen them yet because I haven't gotten to a high enough. Uh, High enough round to see i think the ddts or the bad's i think those are them but i have not yet to see them so there we go now we have the uh ninja with flash bomb so he should be able to stun any balloons that we get we're already on round 25 that's a little crazy to me um can't believe we're on 25 already so that should help stun the balloons that will help uh help us with our leads so that'll be good we didn't get camo leads, but I don't think we get those. I think it's around 59 we get camo leads. Um, and we're not going up to that. Since we're playing easy mode, we're only going up to around 40. So, I think I'm going to get a bomb tower. So, I think I'm going to put it... Uh, where can I get... No, if it goes over here, then we're dead already. So, I want to put them down here. I want to maximize the range, but I also want to make sure that they can get the Moabs early. So, that's something where I'm just going to do the first three upgrades of the middle path so I can get, I think I'll get two Moab Maulers, um, and then see if I have extra money afterward for a Super Monkey. Super Monkeys are definitely some of the most powerful monkeys in the game. Um, they just throw out darts insanely fast, and then you can upgrade them to use, uh, have a huge range, and to use lasers and plasma um, and then yeah in addition there's also a new the third upgrade path allows them to use like dark blades but I haven't really experimented with those yet I'm mostly sticking to the upgrade paths of the original uh, Boons TD6 a lot of the time because I was more familiar with them seems like I'm losing some lives over here on the right side which is actually surprising so I think I'm just going to put this guy down real quick and wait until I can get like triple shot and sharp shots just to clean up any leftover balloons because it seems like we're having a trouble or having some trouble with some of these balloons that keep getting through. So that guy should be able to clean up. Uh, camo balloons is not a problem at all because of these two ninja guys we have here. Um, so this guy, was, we spent all our money on the dart monkey so we're waiting to get another moab mauler and then i'll see i'm hoping i'll have enough money for a super monkey i'm not totally sure if i will uh by around 40 i certainly won't be able to upgrade it very much but i'm hoping that we'll at least have him because that would definitely be helpful 
Um, yeah. Sorry, I keep, I keep, whoa, it's a lot of balloons. Come on, dart monkey. Okay, the dart monkey's got it, that's good. I just keep going into the wrong screens, which is really annoying. I keep going into the upgrade screen by accident. Um, so, yeah, I think I should be able to buy an, um, an unupgraded dart monkey. Um, yeah. Level up. One monkey knowledge point. That's always nice. Um, so, he's actually... Yeah, these guys are really big. He's actually too big to fit. Uh, he's too big to fit in a lot of places, actually. So, where can he fit? He could fit up here. That's not a horrible place. Um, so I'll put him up there. Um, so we're actually almost done with this track already. Um, so we'll see what we're gonna get here. So we have some... Uh, leads and we have some zebras we can take care of those just fine um, I'll see if I have enough maybe I might even get enough money to get laser vision what's that 2200 oh yeah I'll definitely have enough money to get that so we'll get that now that's good so now it's laser blast it used to be laser vision but changing all these names on me getting me confused yeah I've played an absolute ton of Boons TD4 uh, a long time ago and then Boons TD5 more recently and uh, most recently, Boons TD Battles. Um, but even that was a couple of years ago. So, okay, we have this guy now. And, right, so... The Moab is coming next round. This is, I'll turn it off fast forward. This is the final round um, of easy mode. And we should be able to take care of this guy, I'm hoping. So, Super Monkey should be able to clean up. There we go. We got it. Victory. 75 monkey money so I'm going to go home and I think we will um, I think let's see what can we do we could try tree stump on easy primary only what this means is that we're only going to be able to use a subset of the monkeys see we can only use our hero who's Gwendolyn um, I haven't that's another new feature from Boone's TD6 I haven't really experimented with the heroes yet much like I'm probably doing something wrong but it they just don't seem even close to like worth the money at the moment excuse me um so I think I'd rather use just I'm just gonna start with a plain old dart monkey um I'm gonna put him up here because this tree stump is really annoying he it just blocks uh blocks your vision a lot uh it's annoying that I can't start with the ninja monkey so I think I'm gonna start with this guy instead and I would like to get um, triple shot, which is um, dart monkeys. If you just have a plain old dart monkey, where you don't get like um, spike o pole and juggernaut, and you don't get triple shot, it's really not that useful. But once you get triple shot, and it can throw three darts at once, it actually pops a decent amount of balloons. Before then, it does like reds and blues, and that's about it. But once you have triple shot, it can actually do a decent job. So it's gonna also get sharp shots, and then I'll get uh, razor sharp shots. So that's good. And then I'm also gonna get another one. This one I'm going to make sure to go on the bottom upgrade path. So this one is going to be enhanced eyesight, which uh, will allow him to see camo balloons, which will be very important because we'll need to make sure that we can see camo balloons. Um, so, and then we'll also go for quick shots, and uh, we'll go for very quick shots once they have enough money. Um, and then, in a second, we should be able to get triple shot, hopefully. Um, well, that actually be more than a second. Might need to do uh, this round and then another round to have enough money, but that's okay. Um, I can wait. I'm patient. So, yeah, I'll definitely have enough money after this round. Um, so, triple shot is done. And then that covers uh, some basic popping power as well as some uh, camo popping power. What we don't have is lead popping power. So I'm just going to get a very basic um, bomb tower. I think I'll upgrade it to a missile launcher. Eventually I'm just going to make it Moab Mauler. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time. Get at least two, two Moab Maulers. This time, since I can't have any... Um, I can't have any super monkeys. I'll probably get like multiple Moab Maulers because otherwise 
I'm not really sure. Like, what am I going to use to pop the Moabs? Not really boomerang monkeys. Um, not really um, tax shooters. Those aren't very powerful. Not really ice monkeys. Um, those, I just, I never use ice monkeys. Glue gunners do nothing to Moabs. So I think I'm just going to need to use uh, a lot of Moab Mowers for that. So for now, I think if we just make him a missile launcher, I think that should be fine for now. Because we also need some more basic popping power. I'm thinking maybe if I get a, um, if I get a, uh, boomerang monkey and get him, like, glaive, ric glaive ricochet, that's very, uh, very useful. I just like to see, okay, so that's on the top path. I just couldn't remember what path it was on. And then I also want to look at, okay, yeah. So that can also, if I do the bottom, the top and the bottom, that will also allow me to get leads, which will be helpful. Um, so we're not just relying on that one uh, bomb tower. So I'll just get Glaive Ricochet for a lot more uh, basic popping power. That does extremely well when dealing with like like that huge clump of green balloons. Uh, glaive Ricochet does exactly what it sounds like it does. It makes the glaives just bounce off all the balloons and just pop a crazy amount of balloons at once as long as they're tightly packed and close to each other. Otherwise, it doesn't really do much. So we're going to get that, and then we'll do the bottom so we can have red hot ranks. So that's good. Um, so that's very helpful. Now I think I'm going to work on some uh, some more of these Moab Maulers, or some at all. I actually don't have any at the moment. I just have this basic missile missile launcher. So there's a Moab Mauler. We're going to need a couple more. I'm thinking four, just because we don't have any super monkeys this time. Um, so just going to wait for enough money to buy another bomb tower. There we go. We have enough money. Um, so strong. This, if you've never played this first, last, close, strong thing, that's the targeting. So when I put it on strong, that basically means, like, the default is first, meaning that the monkeys are going to go after uh, whichever balloon is closest to the exit, um, essentially first in line. When I s put it on uh, strong instead, it's going, af it's going to go after the um, balloon with that takes the most hits to pop. Um, the other two options are last, which is um, the balloon that's actually farthest from the exit, and then close, which is, well, the balloon that's closest to the tower. If I wasn't going to make these Moab Maulers, I would do close, because bomb shooters are notoriously bad at long range, so I need Moab Mauler to make sure that they're going to go after the uh, Moabs and stuff, and not uh, other balloons. But if this was going to be, if I was just going to use these with like cluster bombs or something, something that wasn't meant just for Moabs, then I would be doing close to make sure that they uh, pop the ones that are close so that the uh, bombs don't have to travel long range because they're pretty bad doing that. So I normally use first for most monkeys. I use, the only real time I use last is when I have Spico Pulse and Juggernauts. Those are upgrades for, um, those are upgrades for the um, dart monkeys that make them, like, instead of throwing darts, they make them uh, hurl spike, ball spike balls at the balloons. Those need to travel in a straight line. So I'll normally put it th at the end of a straight path where there's a turn and then put it on last because if it puts it on first, it'll go after the balloons that have already taken the turn, which is bad. But if I, because then the spike ball just fire off into nothingness but if I put it at the end of the straight path and put it on last it'll go after the balloons that are still on the straight part of the path and the spike ball will crush balloons down the whole path so that's pretty much the only time I use last close like I said for normal bomb shooters uh, non moab maulers and then I use strong for um oopsie looks like we're gonna lose some, blo lose some lives so I use strong for uh, things that are targeted at moabs also like how I had the flash bomb, uh, the flash bomb ninja monkey before, and like if I use a sniper, I'll do that. I'll do those strong for the purpose of making sure they pop the leads in the earlier rounds and don't go after like the balloons that go, the smaller balloons that go after them. Okay, 
I it seems like I need some more like I'm just gonna put like a monkey here um just like that I think would be helpful just to take care of some cleaning up yeah that would definitely be helpful now we're at round 38 um so I think I'm also gonna get I'm gonna do a um a bionic boomerang here which basically just makes them throw a ton of boomerangs at the same time because that will also be helpful with getting rid of like the ceramics that come after the uh, Moabs and then I'll see if I have enough money I already have four Moab Maulers but I'll see if I have enough money for just one more if I don't then it's not gonna kill me I just would like to have one because I might as well um get up there strong okay nice here that we should be okay um, let's get, yeah, destroy that real quick, and then the bionic boomerang should take care of that, as well as our Moab Maulers and our Dump Monkeys, yep, we're perfectly fine, there we go, so, uh, we completed that track as well, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I hope you guys like this game, because I'm hoping that I'm going to, uh, make some more videos on it soon, I, uh, definitely recommend this game to anyone who's thinking about buying it, it's only five dollars for iOS and Android right now, so it's definitely a great game for its value. If you've played, um, if you've played any Woods Tower Defense games before, or if you haven't, it's uh, still cool either way. The one thing I would comment is that I'm hoping they'll add more maps. Like you can see, there's like nine intermediate maps. I mean, sorry, nine beginner maps, um, six intermediate maps, four advanced maps, and two expert maps. Um, that's Definitely, I'm not totally sure, but just think, because I haven't played Boons TD5 in a while, but I'm fairly sure that that's quite lacking compared to Boons TD5's map selection. So I was hoping they'll add some more maps, especially like, I don't play many like expert maps, but two seems a bit like, I feel like they should have more than two expert maps. I feel like if you really liked hard maps, then that would get a little boring to do the same two over and over again. So anyway... Yeah, I really uh, recommend this game to anyone who's thinking about it after they've watched this video. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. And I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye!